power never changes. Fallout New Vegas is Interclay's first attempt at making a Fallout 3 game. While Bethesda Software has been behind every Fallout from 1 to 3, this new developer is about to take their hand at crafting the post-nuclearific world. But does it become one of the hit games of the year, or does it flop like Super Meat Boy? Let's find out! The story of the game is that you are an addicted gambler on his way to Las Vegas to make the big bucks at the big slots. However, you end up spending all your money, become homeless, and your wife leaves you. Now with nothing left, you are close to suicide. Suddenly, the nuclear war starts with China and the whole world is nuked. Now that El Vegas is a pile of sand in the dirt, it is up to you to save the world single-handedly. The gameplay is beautiful. Vats takes all of the frustration out of needing to think or apply skills to combat. All you do is click and kill, putting all your strategy to use. The new Iron Sights Hello? feature, a first in gaming, is very intriguing and something to experiment with. You're given quests by the many scattered and scared snoops of former Vegas. They ask you to do such things as collect 40 nuclear cola and bring it back to them. It's very immersive, and exactly what I would do if I lived in the deserts of Atom Bomb. The graphics are a joy to behold. Looking at the cool HDR effects, it really feels like I'm staring into the future of gaming. Wow. It's as if someone made a launch game for the Xbox 360 or something. I can't praise it enough. Sound is even better. You'll get sucked up into each word of dialogue that the various creeps of Lost Venturas has to offer. One time a guy asked me if I saw a muddy crab, and I said yes. The game is a vast improvement to last decade's Fallout 3. While Bethesda is the undisputed king of RPGs, Intersoft has a very likable appeal to them. The way that you can be getting a quest from one guy and then suddenly they start falling through the floor while trying to kill their dog, it's very full of personality. I also enjoy how in order to keep the gamers comfortable with their new surroundings, they decided to make Land Vegas look exactly like DC. It's very soothing to forget I'm playing a new game. Overall, Fallout No Vegas is the best game in the whole Fallout series. It's a welcome departure from Bethesda's usual method of game, and I would be glad to see more games from this newcomer interplay.